Cincinnati City Council is considering a new program that looks to help renters become owners. Yeah, this is actually called a community investment trust, and one city is already showing how it's possible. WCPO 9 News anchor Brent Bugansky shows you how, and shows really all of us, how it would work. For some low and middle income families, they may feel like owning any piece of property is just too far out of reach. But Cincinnati City Council wants to bring a program here that helps some of those families own something. And this is a program that's already working in Portland, Oregon. What do you do with 10 bucks a month? What do you do with $100? Hundreds of low to middle income families in Portland felt like they were stuck renting. And the thought of owning anything was not in their cards. They're motivated to invest in real estate. We put up some pictures of some area properties. So what if you get on this collectively? Um, but we knew what their limitations were. John Haynes with Community Investment Trust helped start a program to not only help them own something, but build up the neighborhood they live in. Here's how it works. A nonprofit takes out a loan to buy a property. People who live in the neighborhood buy shares of the building every month between $10 and $100. And much like the stock market, that investment earns dividends. We've lost out on generational wealth building because over the years, homes have in increased in value and families have had something to pass down to their children and grandchildren. A lot of black and brown families have been left out of that opportunity. It's an idea Cincinnati is considering this week at the Equitable Growth and Housing Committee and will potentially study if it's possible here. There's something powerful psychologically as well as financially about actually owning something, owning a piece of the land. And there are still some questions about how they can make this a reality. Number one, which nonprofit would take the lead on this community investment trust, but also which banks would get involved and what properties would potentially be those first investments here in the city of Cincinnati. So they hope to answer some of those questions in a feasibility study, and they hope to get those answered in the next 60 days. And over the Ryan Brett Bogatsky, WCPO 9 News.